All right, let's continue and see if I can figure out how to add that, um, add that uh, struct to the runtime. So we go to new C++ class, uh, select none, and uh, we select UBIK runtime. Um, and we need to give it a name. If we briefly just look at uh, how uh, Unreal names the things, you can see um, if you go to the runtime, ngraph runtime uh, modify bone, you can see they name it at them anim node underscore and then the name of the, the node or what, what it does. So I would name mine uh, anim node underscore UBIK solver and create. Okay, um, if we look at the, if we look at the, um, the Epic Games version or the, the Epic Games uh, node, uh, or it, this is not the node, this is actually the implementation. Um, what they do here is to do a bunch of um, includes. And here's an enum, uh, whether you can want to ignore, replace existing, uh, add it to existing. We don't, we're not going to use those, but we're going to use uh, this stuff down here. Um, all these U properties are the the variables uh, or the, the the properties that are exposed to us in the anim graph, and we're not going to worry about those because they are specific to to the transform modify bone. All these bone to modify translation mode space rotation and so on. Um, bone to modify translation rotation and so on. All these, um, but they do have a um, it does have a um, uh, a few um, virtual uh, functions that we need to override so we're going to copy these actually let's start from the top it's easier that way so we're going to uh, copy this stuff here um, anim node u b i k solver here so Plop that in here. Let's see uh, the core minimal. I don't think we're going to use that in uh, neither the, with the optic macros. The bone contain the bone post mm, neither. And then uh, the anim node modify bone should be renamed to anim node the ubik solver dot generate. Um, and then we need the, the struct, uh, to create the struct here. So copy that. So you know, I'm going to keep this stuff here. Uh, replace this with this empty uh, comment at the moment. Uh, the UBIK runtime API is going to be uh, substituted by this or up here. And the name needs to go uh, here. Notice that I keep the F, otherwise the compiler is going to bitch uh, because it does some naming convention checks, I believe. Uh, and the rest of this stuff we just delete. Or should we want to keep the last bracket and the semicolon here? Uh, let's see what else do we need. So these properties we swear skip and then we copy these here. But we delete that is valid to evaluate. We don't need that, I, I think. Um, let's see. So now we can just generate this one. Oh, press control dot. Uh, save. Whoops. Save. And 
this one. Funny. Okay. So if we go into the CPP file now, we can see we have this and we have this. These are the two ones that we just created. These were the ones that uh, already existed. We can delete those. Um, for now, I'm just going to copy the have the same copyright note. It's not correct, I know. Uh, I'm going to change it later on. Um, so let's see if we compile now. We're definitely going to get a, an error. I'm quite sure. Um, but the question is, uh, how bad is it? Um, five errors. So to begin with, it says it can't um, include this file here. It doesn't exist. Um, the enum node skeletal base. Uh, if we go to go to the enum node modified bone. Uh, we can see it's um, inheriting from this one here. If we look at the path here, we can see it's living inside the enum graph runtime. So uh, enum uh, graph runtime public bone controls. So it's inside the bone controls. Uh, this one here. So if we need, we need to in order to get rid of this error down here, we need to look at what module it's uh, living in. It's called this enum graph runtime, and that means that we need to add this this to our build. Um, this one in the public dependency module names, I believe. So we add it here. Let's see if we compile again, if it's uh, not satisfied with something else. Okay, so now it compiles. Um, I'm thinking uh, this is probably a good place. I have no idea why we keep having these uh, red squiggles. Uh, if I just exit this. Um, and open it up again. Sometimes I've seen it go away if you just do that. I have no idea why. So anyway, now it's gone. So I think this is a good place to stop uh, or pause. Um, because the next, whoops, the next thing I'm going to do is to have a look at how we can get this uh, into the editor. Because if you go to your animation graph and type and suppose uh, you could type in UBIK. Uh, the only thing that will come up is a UBIK component and that's not the one that we, we hope to create here. We hope to create uh, something like this um, without the rotation uh, but with a component pose and uh, in pose and out pose. That's basically what we hope to create. Um, but we're going to continue in the next video and see if we can uh, figure that out. Um, so stay tuned. And I just want to repeat again, this is not a tutorial, really. It sounds like it, but it's not. It, I, it's, it's, it's more like me guessing my way uh, into figuring out how to create a animation uh, blueprint, uh, blueprint um, yeah, animation mode. Um, and I have no idea what to do once I hopefully manage to create it. Uh, time will tell. Anyway, I will be seeing you. Bye.